Hello guys, it's Shitkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel, once again. Or maybe not, maybe it's your first time, but welcome to my channel and don't leave it. <laughs> well, today's video is a video that I couldn't avoid making. So I made a video like one week or two ago, I think it's one week ago. Uh, it was one week ago, ago. it's this video. Uh, and it was about me ranting per se, it was not a rant, but... It, it was like me saying the problems I have on the new Adrenaline 2020 driver. And so I did that video and I usually don't do those things. So I did that and now I'm doing this, which is the video saying that it got fixed. Yeah, it seems that not all people have problems on the 1912 2 drivers, so the first Adrenaline 2020 drivers. For example, some people had exactly the same issues I have. FreeSync not working properly, uh, lower frame rates than the previous drivers, between many others, for, for example, black screens, blue screens, and blah blah blah, a lot, a lot of issues. And the issue that still persists, some screen tearing, but we'll talk about that. Well, now AMD released the 1912-3 drivers, which fix a lot, a lot of things. And you can see that on the release notes of the driver, and they have a lot of fixes. And I've been, I have, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I have been testing these drivers for like uh, four days, I think, four or five days, and they are pretty damn stable. So the previous drivers were um, stutter fast in most games, uh, black screens happening over nothing, uh, between many other th other things, like the free sync, for example. But these drivers fix it, and I have exactly one problem. Not zero, not zero problems, but one problem still persists, which is some screen not tearing, I said, I said badly, not this term, or I said before tearing, but it's not tearing, it's screen flickering. The screen is still flickering in some case scenarios, for example, uh, the menu on CSGO, it still flickers a bit, uh, black bars flickering, um, and the same happens, for example, on Rainbow Six Siege menu also. But strangely enough, it doesn't happen in all of the games I tested, just on Rainbow Six Siege and on CSGO. Still the flickering on the 1912-2 were was way, way worse than on these new drivers. On these new drivers there is a flickering but really, really almost unperceptible, in some cases a bit perceptible but not that much comparing to the previous drivers which had a massive flickering just on the menus. So as soon as you go to the game you don't have this problem but if you go into the menus you will see the game flickering. The screen flickering. And well, that's basically it, guys. Just a video to say that they fixed things. At least most of them, finally. Uh, and I'll be doing some new overclocking tutorials for Vega 56 and for RX 5700 XT on the new Adrenaline 2020. Um, yeah. So basically, in case you're having problems, install the 1912 one, which are Adrenaline 2019. Okay, the best stable drivers, at least for me, at Adrenaline 2019, or the 1912-3, which are the new, the newest in this case, Adrenaline 2020, which are also pretty damn stable, taking one point or two, of course. Also, the next big video is DDR4 3200 MHz versus 3600 MHz versus 3800 MHz versus 4266 100, no, 4266 megahertz, yeah, and it will in include, for example, 3800 megahertz with improved timings and sub-timings, so don't miss it, this is all on Ryzen 5 3600. And well, there's not much more to say, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share this video, comment on the comment section and tell me what you think about this video and about these new drivers, 1912-3. Tell me if they are working for you or not. Well, see you in the next video. Maybe one day or two at max. See ya.